Hey guys, we're back here at Bear Creek Arsenal today, and today we're going to give a just a general overview about the 300 Blackout. The 300 Blackout is a great overall caliber. Uh, if you're just wanting to go out and shoot a little bit, just target practice, it's comfortable, it's easy on the recoil. Uh, but if you're wanting to do some of the more next level things like hunt, shoot suppress, things like that, the 300 Blackout is going to be a great way to go. One of the reasons that makes 300 Blackout a good platform to use is it uses all the same stuff as your 5.56. Pretty much what a 300 Blackout is, is a 30 caliber projectile that a 5.56 case has been cut down and re-necked to accept. That's why we can use it all in the same platform. So your same 5.56 magazines, you can load up with 300 Blackout. The bolt gear group in the 5.56 will also sit up next to the 300 Blackout. The only thing about the rifles that you would have to change from a 5.56 to a 300 Blackout is going to be your barrel. So for however much you want to spend on a barrel, you got two completely different calibers, two completely different setups of AR. Instead of changing out just the barrel, a lot of people may not have the tools for that. So what you can do is just buy another complete upper to have on hand. Then you just simply pop the two pins from the lower, remove one upper, set another upper down, and you can do that on the fly at the range. Along with the 300 Blackout caliber uh, in regards to hunting, is you now can step up your game as far as what you want to hunt. The 5.56 is great for hunting in, in respects to small game like coyotes, uh, bobcats, gophers, things like that groundhogs um, but the 300 blackout allows you to get up into bigger game like your deer your hogs uh, things like that because now you have an actual 30 caliber projectile shooting out of the same platform as your 556 one of the things with 300 blackout being developed for suppression is the rate the powder burns in the shorter barrels with the 300 blackout you're not going to get as much of a fireball coming out of the end of it like you do with some of the other calibers because Again, it was developed specifically for that military close quarters situations. So the burn rate of the powder used in 300 Blackout is a little bit different and a lot of times burn cleaner. All right, as far as buffer weights go for the 300 Blackout, you should be good with a standard carbine weight buffer uh, in most of your setups for your 300 Blackouts. You start getting into the shorter setups and you are feeling a little bit more of that recoil. You can step up your buffer weights to a heavy, maybe even an H1, uh, but for most intents and purposes, uh, a standard carving weight buffer will do you good. Now, some things I will tell you to keep in mind on about the 300 Blackout. The 300 Blackout was initially developed for the military to use suppressed. Um, it was meant to be used in a close quarters type situations. Uh, so the uh, special secret squirrel guys can get in, not be heard, and get out. So if you're going to take those same concepts and put them into the everyday field, there's some things you're going to have to consider. If you're going to want to shoot a 300 blackout suppressed, I would highly recommend that you get a pistol length gas system. It's just going to keep the force of that gas early. It's going to help everything cycle through the rifle like it needs to because once the gas reaches the muzzle in when the suppressor is, all that stuff gets dissipated in a different manner and things can cycle a little bit differently. So whether or not you're shooting a 16 inch 300 blackout barrel or a 10 and a half inch 300 blackout barrel, if you ever plan on putting a suppressor on it, I would go with a pistol length gas system. Or even if you don't plan on putting a suppressor on it and you just want to shoot the heavier 200 grain, 215 grain uh, projectiles, if you're going to hunt, then those things are still subsonic, so you're still going to want to put a pistol length gas system on it, okay? Uh, the carbine length gas system that comes in a lot of our barrels here at Bear Creek are great for the lighter supersonic rounds uh, that you use for everyday type shooting target, just being at the range. You can also hunt with a 135-140 grain 300 blackout round. It does move a little faster, doesn't carry quite as much energy but it will get the job done if you have good shot placement. Uh, something else to consider when, uh, with ammo selection is the heavier rounds, you're gonna get more drop faster. 
So let's say a 130 grain supersonic projectile versus a 230 grain subsonic projectile at 200 yards, you're going to have about three to four feet more drop in that heavier round than you would the supersonic round. So it's just some factors to keep in mind. Again, that subsonic suppressed stuff was developed and intended for close quarters. Uh, if you want a more detailed dive into the 300 blackout, we have a nice blog posting on our website. We'll post that link down below. You should go check that out, give it a read. There really is some good information in there. Outside of that, guys, I just want to tell everybody to stay safe, keep slinging lift.